Skyhawk continues into the new model year with its appearance and model lineup unchanged. Also unchanged are exterior and interior colors and fabrics. Coupe and sedan models feature clean lines and contemporary styling. The SE Coupe has the exterior sport package, concealed tungsten halogen headlamps, ground touring suspension, and a gauge package. While seat designs in the Skyhawk line carry over, there is a new standard rear seat lap and shoulder belt system. This feature is standard on all models for 1989. A new leather wrap steering wheel is optional. Skyhawk wagons continue with a carpeted load floor, one piece lift up tailgate, split folding rear seat, and air deflector. The Skyhawk line also continues with its high level of standard content, including tinted glass, tungsten halogen headlamps, power steering and brakes, and electronically tuned AM FM stereo radio. Road and powertrain noise is reduced even further for 1989 with a new standard acoustical insulation package. Under the hood, a 90 horsepower 2.0 liter engine is standard. It features electronic fuel injection for fuel efficiency and a computer controlled coil ignition system for reliability. Power gets to the road through the standard five-speed manual transmission or optional three-speed automatic. A new Dynaride suspension is standard on Skyhawk for 1989. Dynaride is a combination of philosophy and technology. The philosophy is to provide ride smoothness and isolation. The technology includes the use of deflected disc valving in the struts. All struts or shock absorbers provide damping or ride control by allowing fluid to flow from one chamber to another within the shock absorber during compression or expansion of the suspension. The rate of fluid flow is controlled by valves within the struts. The deflected disc system uses a unique valving approach. The valve is comprised of a pyramid stacking of discs of various diameters and thicknesses. These discs actually bend or deflect to allow fluid flow during suspension. The amount of deflection varies depending upon the forces applied. In other words, the strut tends to respond differently to different road surfaces and driving conditions. A conventional strut, on the other hand, has a relatively simple valve using a fixed hole or orifice with a ball and spring. Deflected disc strut valving, since it is more sophisticated, allows engineers to fine tune the ride and handling throughout the operating range. It has been used previously on cars like the Corvette to provide ultimate handling. Buick turned the technology around and used it to provide ride smoothness and isolation, while at the same time keeping the handling crisp and precise. Because this new suspension provides dynamic damping under all conditions and offers our owners the smooth ride they expect in a Buick, we call it Dynaride. Dynaride is standard on all 1989 Buicks, except wagons and those equipped with ground touring suspension. Like all Buicks, Skyhawk is an exceptional value in its class and offers fleet appeal with its exceptional resale value. The Skylark enters 1989 with no changes to the model lineup, but there are some appearance refinements. Sedans, like the coupe models, now have composite headlamps and also feature car-colored bumpers front and rear made of a new polypropylene material. The grille of the coupe models has a narrower vertical bar theme than sedans. A stand-up tri-shield hood ornament is standard on all Buicks except Riviera and Riata replacing individual car line identification. At the rear, the sedan appearance includes a new bright bead and black center bar, in addition to the bright Skylark and Buick script. Backup lamps on both models are changed to a neutral density appearance. The coupe also has a revised rear end treatment for 1989. Deluxe wheel covers are standard, 
and styled steel wheels, or these 13-inch aluminum wheels with new argent color may be ordered. Skylark Custom and Limited models feature a standard split front bench seat, which includes a convenient center storage tray. A padded armrest is standard. The Limited design features a new sew pattern. New reclining 45-45 bucket seats with center armrests and full-length operating console are optional on all Skylarks. The gear selector lever is located on the steering column and the parking brake is moved to the left side under the instrument panel. It is the step-on type. The analog cluster continues as standard and elegant new champagne burl wood grain replaces the shale gray and pewter trim plates on the instrument panel, console, and doors. The electronic cluster is discontinued. All Skylarks are equipped with a rear lap and shoulder belt system. Under the hood, the 2.5 liter Tech 4 engine with electronic fuel injection and balance shaft for smooth operation is standard, while the 2.3 liter Quad 4 continues to be optional. It puts out 150 horsepower and also has a new balance shaft for smooth operation. A new addition to the powertrain lineup is the 3300 MFI V6. This engine features multi-port fuel injection for precise fuel metering and roller lifters to reduce friction. The cast aluminum intake manifold reduces weight and allows precise injector targeting for fuel efficiency. A top priority for the 3300 was to design it for a long service life by concentrating on reliability and durability. Its computer-controlled coil ignition and single accessory drive belt system minimize service requirements. The 3300 V6 puts out 35 more horsepower and 35 more pounds-feet of torque than the three liter V6 it replaces, and yet it provides slightly better fuel economy ratings. A three-speed automatic transmission continues as standard on Skylark, and all Skylarks feature Buick's exclusive Dynaride suspension. Skylark also gets acoustical insulation improvements. Sound deadeners and insulation mats are installed under the hood, at the front of the dash, underneath the carpeting, inside the quarter panels, under the seats, in the roof, and other strategic locations to reduce powertrain and road noise. Features which have been made standard for 1989 include extended range speakers on all Skylarks, remote fuel filler release on all customs, an armrest, seat recliners, deluxe trunk trim, and passenger vanity mirror on the custom sedan. Century comes into 1989 with major design changes on coupes and sedans that will strongly position this Buick with daily rental, commercial, and leasing companies. The lineup includes a custom coupe and sedan, a custom wagon, limited sedan, and a state wagon. The limited coupe is canceled. Composite headlamps add to the sleek look, as do the wraparound park and turn lamps. The front and rear bumpers are now body colored with a black rub strip. A black body side molding is standard on the coupe and sedan. Century's roof line is totally new. The coupe has a flowing rear window providing a large greenhouse. Styled steel wheels are available as are these new 14 inch aluminum wheels. The roof of the sedan has more formal lines and provides a bit more rear headroom. At the rear are full-width tail lamps with center backup lights and black center bar. The deluxe outside rearview mirrors with remote control for the driver's side are standard. Century wagons have the sleek new front appearance with composite headlamps and wraparound park and turn lamps. Champagne burl wood grain adds a luxurious touch to interior designs. The new steering wheel design introduced in mid-1988 continues Behind it, the analog cluster is revised for improved readability. Rear seat shoulder and lap belts are standard on all centuries. 
the engine lineup for 1989 is revised, with a 2.5-liter Tech 4 remaining the base engine. The 3300 MFI V6 mentioned earlier is optional. The 2.8 MFI and 3.8 SFI V6 engines are discontinued. A three-speed automatic transmission is standard, while a four-speed automatic is available. Like all other Buicks, Century coupes and sedans have Dynaride suspension as standard equipment. Deluxe mirrors and body side molding are standard on all models, and gauges are standard on the limited sedan and Century estate wagon. Several low penetration options have been canceled for 1989, including vinyl tops, bucket seats, operating console, and two-tone paint. The front-wheel drive Regal, which debuted in 1988, continues with minor appearance changes and equipment adjustments. The Regal is available in custom, limited, and new Grand Sport versions. A new wide bright body side molding is standard on the limited. All models have a stand-up tri-shield hood ornament. The Grand Sport includes blacked out moldings, aero rocker panels, and fog lamps. The interior features bucket seats, rear window defogger, AM FM stereo radio with cassette, cruise control, electronic instrumentation, keyless entry, delay windshield wiper, power antenna, electric door locks, power windows, power driver's seat, electric control outside mirrors, concert sound speaker system, electric trunk release, lighted visor vanity mirror, and carpet savers. Underneath, Grand Touring suspension is included with new 16-inch aluminum wheels sporting Eagle GT Plus 4 tires. The four-seater package is available on the Grand Sport. It features reclining front bucket seats, full-length operating console, leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift handle, rear bucket seats with headrests, and rear seat storage console with armrest. Another appearance option is the ribbon molding package available on the custom or limited, either separately or with the two-tone paint treatment as shown here. Like the Grand Sport, the package includes a red accent stripe in the molding. Turning to the interior, the designs and trims carry over. However, in the rear, a new lap and shoulder belt system is standard. The 2.8-liter MFI V6 continues as the standard engine made it to the four-speed overdrive automatic transmission. But during the 1989 model year, the 2.8 will be replaced by a larger 3.1-liter version of this engine. And to help provide control braking under adverse road conditions, an anti-lock brake system is available. Like the system offered on our other models, the brakes are hydraulically boosted and a computer reads the speed at each wheel and modulates brake pressure to avoid wheel lockup during braking. Regals equipped with the system have an ABS emblem on the instrument panel to the left of the steering wheel. Another new option for the limited model is a keyless entry system. The small handheld transmitter fits on a keychain and operates just like a garage door opener using radio frequency signals to unlock the deck lid or doors from up to 30 feet away. There are three buttons on the control. The first locks all of the doors. The second unlocks the driver's door when pressed once and all doors when it is pressed twice. The third control releases the deck lid. The Regal also has optional controls mounted on the steering wheel hub for remote operation of the radio. A series of six rocker switches are located at the lower part of the hub, allowing operation of the radio without removing your hands from the steering wheel. Optional power windows now include an express feature for the driver's door. Momentarily pressing the window control rocker switch activates circuitry that continues to fully lower the window. Pressing and holding the switch lowers the window until the switch is released. Raising the window is done in the conventional manner. 
For 1989, several new standard items are added, including air conditioning, an AM FM stereo radio, white wall tires, driver and passenger seat recliners, and tilt steering column for all models, and extendable sunshades for the custom. The new Regal has proved itself an excellent daily rental car and has strong appeal in leasing and commercial accounts. The Le Sabre for 1989 is unchanged both in model offerings and exterior appearance. Interior colors and seat designs also carry over, as well as the rear seat lap and shoulder belt system introduced last year. The interior trim plates on all the Sabre models, except the T-Type, are a new champagne burl wood grain. The standard steering wheel has a new color tri-shield on the horn pad. The T-Type interior continues in black leather or cloth. A new all-leather wrap steering wheel and an operating console are standard on the T-Type. All the Sabres have Buick's smooth 3800 V6 with balance shaft, sequential fuel injection, computer-controlled coil ignition, roller lifters, and a host of other leading-edge engine technology. The standard suspension is the Dynaride system introduced last year. New standard features include tilt steering column, trip odometer, and a front storage armrest on the limited 5545 seat. The big news for the Electra lineup is the addition of a new Park Avenue Ultra Sedan. Other models receive appearance and content refinements. The new Park Avenue Ultra, which will go into production in November, is the ultimate in Buick luxury. It features a specific leather interior. This does not mean just leather inserts in the seats, but also full leather on the sides and backs of the seats, on the door panels, steering wheel, and even padded leather on the glove box door. The driver and passenger seats have six-way power adjustment with the controls on the door panel. There are also adjustments for recline, thigh and lumbar supports, and headrests. These controls are mounted in a unique touch-sensitive panel mounted on the front of the seat. The seat structure was designed to meet seating criteria developed by the Transportation Research Center of the University of Michigan. There is a storage center armrest, and the rear seat also has a fold-down center armrest. Trim plates are of a specific dark elm burl wood grain. A special acoustic insulation package provides isolation from exterior noise intrusion. The exterior features a two-tone paint treatment with a choice of six colors over a silver lower body with accent stripe. Other specific exterior items include the grille, specific ultra-aluminum wheels polished to a high luster, and fitted with large 15-inch 70-series white wall tires. They complement the specific ride tuning of the Ultra, which provides an extremely smooth boulevard ride. The Ultra logo is recessed into the sail panel of the car-colored formal vinyl top. Specific tail lamps with dark lenses and bright inserts identify the Ultra from the rear. Elsewhere in the lineup, there is a new 5545 seat design on the Park Avenue, which features vertical piping on the seat cushion and back. A storage armrest is also standard. Blue leather will be added to the interior selections shortly after start of production. New automatic lap and shoulder belts are standard as is the lap and shoulder belt system in the rear. Under the hood, all Electras are powered by this silky smooth 3800 SFI V6, coupled to a four-speed automatic transmission. New optional equipment in the Electra series includes the new remote keyless entry system, 
as well as a new electrochromic day-night inside mirror, which dims automatically to reduce distracting glare when driving at night. Electrochromic technology, with an effect similar to that of sunglasses that dim automatically when subjected to bright light, allows the mirror surface to dim quickly and silently. Consider Electra Park Avenue for your fleet. Buyers wanting Buick luxury, along with cargo and towing capacity, can have it in the full-size Le Sabre and Electra Estate wagons. The line carries over for 1989 with only equipment changes. Rear seat lap and shoulder belts are now standard. There is a new trailer towing package available, which has a 3.23 axle ratio, heavy-duty engine and transmission cooling, automatic level control, and limited slip differential. At the same time, a number of low penetration options have been discontinued. Engine block heater and belt reveal moldings are canceled on both LeSabre and Electro wagons. And for the LeSabre, other deletions include electronic climate control, door courtesy and warning lights, front lamp monitors, electric control mirrors, cornering lights, twilight sentinel, illuminated entry, power passenger seat, and graphic equalizer radio. The Riviera has been completely redesigned for 1989, recapturing the distinctive look of previous Rivieras. It is available in only one model as the T-Type is discontinued. The redesign is readily apparent in the profile. 11 inches have been added to the overall length and the sail panel has been widened. The rear view is completely new with a larger sloping deck. A new bumper and tail lamps give the rear a totally new appearance. The attractive new tail lamps have the long familiar R insignia. The front appearance features a restyled grille, which is wider with a more vertical theme. New car colored mirrors add to the refined appearance and the bumpers have been brightened. Lower on the body, the standard body side moldings and new wheel well moldings are car colored. 205-70R15 tires are standard equipment with either wire wheel covers or a new optional 15-inch aluminum wheel. A new diamond white pearlescent exterior color will be available at extra cost. This is the only new exterior color for 1989 and is exclusive to the Riviera. There is also a new lower accent paint package featuring platinum beige accent and body side stripe taupe body side moldings, and painted aluminum wheels available with white, black, or antelope. The designer's accent paint treatment continues to be available in eight color combinations. On the interior, seat designs, materials, and colors carry over. Last year's shale gray trim plates are replaced with a new dark elm burl wood grain, and the instrument panel and door trim changes from cloth to a rich grain vinyl. The console has been modified as the trunk and fuel door release switches are moved into the glove box. Door, window, and seat control switch plates are changed to a low gloss black appearance. Under the hood, the smooth 3800 SFI V6 provides power through the four-speed automatic transmission. An all-new engine mounting system uses three hydraulic mounts to dampen powertrain vibration. Features made standard equipment on the Riviera for 1989 include body color door edge guards, body side moldings, coach lamps, leather wrapped steering wheel and shift handle, heavy duty engine and transmission cooling, wire wheel covers, and white wall tires. New options include a remote keyless entry system, a new design Landau roof with crown molding, and electrochromic day night mirror. This brings us to Buick's newest market entry, the elegant Riata. Introduced during the 1988 model year, 
the exterior appearance is unchanged for 1989. Inside, the seat designs continue in leather only. While the trunk and fuel door releases are moved into the glove box, the fog lamp and headlamp retract switches remain in the console. The standard powertrain consists of the smooth 3800 SFI mated to a four-speed automatic transmission. Hydraulic engine mounts isolate powertrain inputs from the passenger compartment. New standard features include a remote keyless entry system, as well as a theft deterrent system. Once again, in 1989, Riata will be the most accommodating luxury two-passenger vehicle on the great American road. And that concludes our product story. As you can see, Buick for 1989 offers a full range of distinctive products and features. And Buick has a model for your fleet requirements.